We use ratio to compare amounts. In the first example here, we have some red squares and some white squares. The question says, write down the ratio of red squares to white squares. So how many red squares do we have? We've got four red squares. So we're going to write four. And then when we've got two, we're going to write two dots or a colon. So four, then we've got our colon. And then how many white squares have we got? Two. So it's four, two, two. The ratio of red squares to white squares is four to two. We can simplify this ratio because they're both in the two times table. So we can half both of these numbers and we can say the ratio is two to one. So the ratio of red squares to white squares is two to one. For every two red squares, there's one white square. Part B says write down the ratio of white squares to red squares. So it's the same thing, just the other way around. So we're going to have white squares first and then red squares. So the ratio of red squares to white squares was two to one. So the ratio of white squares to red squares is one to two. There's one white square for every two red squares. Okay, one for you to try, so give this a go. Write down the ratio of red circles to white circles. So how many red circles do we have? We've got two. And then when we've got two, we're going to write two dots, a colon, and how many white circles do we have? We've got five white circles. So the ratio of red circles to white circles is two to five. We can't simplify this. So this is our answer. And the ratio of white circles to red circles is the same thing, but the other way around. So it's five to two. Here's another example. This time we've got red squares, white squares, and blue squares. So we want to write down the ratio of red squares. So red's going to be first, two white squares, two blue squares. So red squares, how many have we got? We've got four. How many white squares have we got? Two. And how many blue squares? Three. So the ratio of red squares to white squares to blue squares is four to two to three. We can't simplify it, so this is our answer. One for you to try, so give this a go. So we're writing down the ratio of red circles to blue circles to white circles. So red comes first, we've got one red circle. We've got five blue circles and three white circles. So the ratio is one to five to three. Red first, then blue, then white. As long as we do the same thing to both parts of a ratio, we can simplify it. So in the first question, we're asked to simplify six to eight. Six and eight are both in the two times table. So we can half them both. So half of six is three, half of eight is four. So the ratio six to eight simplifies to three to four. 10 and 25 for the next question are both in the five times table. So we can divide them both by five, divide both parts by five. So 10 over five is two and 25 over five is five. So 10 to 25 simplifies to 2 to 5. And question 3, 81 to 27. They are both in the 9 times table. So we'll do 9 to start with. So they're both in the 9 times table. So that simplifies. So 9 9s make 81. 
and nine threes make 27. But if we look at these, they're both in the three times table. So we can simplify them again. So nine is three threes, one is one three. So 81 to 27 simplifies to three to one. And three for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one, 15 and 12 are both in the three times table. So we've got five threes and four threes. 12 and 18, the biggest times table they're both in is the six times table. So we've got two sixes and three sixes. And 70 and 63 are both in the seven times table. We've got 10 sevens and nine sevens. So the ratio is 10 to nine. Here's another question. There are blue pens and black pens in a box. Three quarters of the pens are blue. Write down the ratio of blue pens to black pens. So if three quarters of the pens are blue, the rest are black. So one quarter of the pens are black. So what is the ratio of blue pens to black pens? So out of every four pens, we can say that three are blue and one is black. So three quarters to one quarter is the same as three to one. So the ratio of blue pens to black pens is three to one. For every three blue pens, there's one black pen. And one for you to try. So give this one a go. There are red counters and green counters in a bag. Two fifths of the counters are red. So what is the ratio of red counters to green counters? If two fifths are red, two out of five, two out of every five are red, the rest are green. So three fifths must be green because two fifths and three fifths make a whole. So the ratio of red to green. So out of every five counters, we're gonna have two red and three green. So the ratio is two to three. Two fifths to three fifths is the same as two to three. Here's another example. There are blue pens, black pens, and red pens in a box. There are twice as many black pens as blue pens. There are half as many red pens as blue pens. Write the ratio of blue pens. So it's going to be blue pens to black pens to red pens. So what do we know? There are twice as many black pens as blue pens. So if there was one blue pen, there would be two black pens, twice as many black as blue. There are half as many red as blue. So half of one, well, half of one is 0 0.5. So this doesn't make sense. We're not going to have half a red pen. But for every one blue pen, there's two black pens and half a red pen. So if we want to get rid of this 0 0.5, we can just double all of the ratios. So double each part. So it's gonna be two blue, four black, and one red. So for every two blue pens, it's gonna be four black pens, so twice as many, and there'll be one red pen, half as many. So the ratio is two to four to one. And one for you to try. So give this one a go. There are red counters, green counters, and yellow counters in the bag. So it's going to be red, so red to green to yellow. 
the number of green counters is three times the number of red. So if there's one red, there's three times as many green. So the ratio of red to green is one to three. The number of yellow counters is half the number of green. So half of three is 1.5. So we've got a ratio of one to three to 1.5. We can't really have 1.5 yellow counters. So let's double all of them. So we're going to have two to six to three. So for every two red counters, there's six green counters and three yellow counters. Two questions to finish up. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, write down the ratio of red squares to white squares. So it's going to be red squares to white squares. Give your answer in its simplest form. So how many red squares do we have? We have six, so it's six red. How many white? That's four. So the ratio is six to four. We need to give our answer in its simplest form. Six and four are both in the two times table. So we can half them both. So it's three to two. For every three red squares, there are two white squares. Question two, there are red counters and green counters in a bag. Four sevenths of the counters are red. Write the ratio of red counters to green counters. So four sevenths are red, the rest are green. So if four out of every seven are red, three sevenths must be green. So out of every seven counters, four are red and three are green. So the ratio of red to green is four to three.